everybody, welcome to Lunch with the Doc. Another Wednesday here. We're a couple days out from Christmas. So we decided that it would be um, the right thing to come to this restaurant. We're downtown Laguna Beach, Slap Fish. Um, I've heard many good things about this. I'm sure you guys have too if you live in town. Dr. G's in there trying to figure out what he's gonna order. But they have like a nice cool outdoor seating patio area right across the street from, from Main Beach. Um, so, we're going to be talking about shoulders today, which is actually a really pertinent issue to me right now because I'm going through this weird shoulder injury. Uh, I'll talk about it later, but it's important because I'm going to be getting some valuable information from Dr. G because he's very experienced when it comes to shoulder pain and all that type of stuff. He's actually trying to figure something out on his phone at the same time. So, here he is, the man himself, the doctor, the Dr. G. How's the sun right behind us? Is it a little bright back okay. there? It is? Oh, too bright. Awesome. I would say, you liked in there? Yeah, I'm right. getting the mahi mahi and hokey, which is a wild caught um, fish from New Zealand. I'm also getting the coleslaw, the rice, and some guacamole all in a bowl. So let's go order. I already did. Oh, yeah. He already ordered. <laughs> yeah, because I knew I was going to be on this, so I just figured I'd just go one step at a time. So why don't you go order, stick it on there, and then you can switch we places. Just order together? Well, I know, but I thought we were going to start the show. You don't want to start the show right there? No, we start the show in there, all together. All right. <laughs> let's go in, right. let's go in. Or we can do it. That yeah, way. Hey, let's, let's do it. Whatever, however, <laughs> however you want to do it. <laughs> you can tell he's my son. I've been giving him ideas far too long now. <laughs> Here we are. Yeah, check it out. Really cool, simplistic, easy way to handle it. Love it. So he already ordered. We're featuring your restaurant as another great restaurant in town. I said we're featuring your restaurant as another great restaurant in town. Can you talk to our Yeah. Um, there's pretty big. Yeah. 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 Are you like poking? Um, Alright, well I guess we'll... Uh, fish and chips is good too. The fish and chips is also good. That's, that's really good. Okay. Let's go fish and chips. Christmas music going on. Hey, what do you want? I'll do the um, fish bowl with salmon. Oh, actually, I might do the. What kind of fish? Like, what flaky white fish? Maybe I'll do the. Hokey. I'll do the hokey. Hokey! Alright, what would you like for the side? The side? Perfect. Awesome sauce. Oh, no, sorry. Because the, uh, it comes with two sides. Oh. It would be from slaw, salad, rice, or crab. Oh, salad and rice. Okay. All right. Anything else for today? And then, the, do we choose the sauces for the bowls or not? Uh, yes, you can. All right. Um, I'll have. I'll try the awesome sauce and I'll have some tartar sauce as well. Me too. Hmm. Got Christmas going on. So you know what we're going to talk about so, uh, today? Should we go over everything. I have a hokey bowl with the rest of that money for our last two pieces. The spawn rice and the static wok, fish and chips, and a salmon bowl with salad and white rice. Not, she didn't want salmon, she wanted hokey. The, sorry, the salmon bowl with uh, salad and white rice. But she didn't want, the, she wanted to change it from salmon to hokey. She okay, first said so, salmon. Oh, okay. yeah. so, so just so hokey. Yeah. Alright, anything else for that? That's it, my friend. Alright, that's what we do. Oh, so what we, we were talking about today, the topic is the shoulder, which is the most complex joint in the body. Do you have a card? They don't accept cash. They don't accept cash. Yeah, we do. Yeah, that's what 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 we do. So we're talking about the shoulder. The shoulder is something that most people have had a little shoulder tweak here and there before. First time I really remember having a shoulder problem, I slipped on a 
I was walking across a waterfall up in Hume Lake and it was real slimy and I was trying to go real slow and my feet just went right out from under me. I went BAM down on my right shoulder. Couldn't move my shoulder and I was a quarterback in high school so I was out for about 10 days and it was like that was really not good. And then I was playing um, handball without really warming my shoulder up and I tore my my uh, yeah, rotator cool. tore my rotator cuff and I'll tell you about what the rotator cuff is in a little while and then I made a really stupid mistake right out here so right down there on, on the beach so right down there my son was about five and we did this thing kind of like Simon says so whatever my son Raya told me to do I would not a lot of times do so he said uh we were going to go in the water. He says, do a front flip, Dad. Do a front flip. So I went, ran down. Boom. Did a front flip. Landed. He goes, do another front flip, Dad. I go, okay, I'll do it. He goes, do a back flip, Dad. Do a back flip. Well, I did back flips off of the diving board, but not right in the sand. And the water was about this tall, and it started to come down. And I threw a back flip, and I realized I wasn't going to make it all the way around. And if I landed directly on my neck, I'd break my neck. So I turned like this, and right on the hard sand, I landed on my shoulder, and I just dislocated it and tore my AC joint. And now I'm like, oh, crap. Now everybody's got their own story. I'm sure you got your story, too, if you've had a shoulder injury. And I'm hoping that if you know someone with a shoulder injury, refer them to this, this, um, this Facebook Live today, the Lunch with the Doc, because it's going to be um, all about shoulders and how to, how to fix them. Um, by the way, my name is Dr. Gary Arthur, D.C., Laguna Beach, last 30 years I've been practicing and uh, worked with a lot of professional um, volleyball, gold medalists, um, all pro football players, all pro basketball players, um, had a, a chance, I mean, world champion boxers, I've had a chance to work with a lot of athletes, so this is something that's near and dear to me, and to be able to see people get over their shoulder problem and actually get their quality of life back or actually be able to to hit a volleyball again or to be able to open a door again or reach behind the seat and pull something from the back seat to the front without pain it's all about really restoring people's quality of life and and helping them to see what life would look like if they didn't have a problem like a shoulder problem and we apply that same principle to anything because it's all about the value of getting your life back and getting your body working like it's supposed to work again so, so that's kind of my intro to the shoulder. Um, like I said, it's the most complex joint because it's, um, it's got a lot of different articulations. Let's go talk about it. Intro? Intro. You Can't you both sit over? Want to go that way? Yeah. Okay. So what'd you tell him, man? Well, I told him a little history of my shoulder problems. I said everybody's got their own story about it. Why is that such a common place for injury? Well, it has to do with the complexity of the joint. It's a very complex joint. And we were just starting to talk about articulations. What are articulations, son? When you have a thought in your mind and then they become words. Oh, that is one definition. And, and what is another definition for articulation? Mm. Couldn't tell you. Mm. <laughs> it's that definition of articulation that I wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah. an articulation learn something new. is where a joint is formed by two opposing structures. It creates an articulation. Mm. Never would have known that. And the, um, the, the shoulder joint is so interesting because the humerus, which comes in here, this part of your arm goes up and attaches into what's called the glenoid fossa in there and it's kept in place by the by the uh, rotator cuff which we'll talk about in a second glenoid is that a person that named that glenn that name? yeah yeah glenoid friend of mine named glenn last name oid not true no not true this is your collarbone so we're looking at a right shoulder so your collarbone comes in here. Trying to use me as a dummy. But if you, yeah, if you want to think of how strange and different this joint is and how amazing it is because it can do so many things, is that 
the only the place it attaches to the rest Good of your body posture. with other joints is right here at the sternoclavicular joint. The SC joint is here. So you have the, the collarbone goes over here to the AC joint, which is the acromion and the clavicle. That forms the AC joint. And then this big bone here is a floating bone called the scapula. So if you think about it, the only place it's really attached to your skeleton through a joint is right here. The whole thing is movable. Now the incredible thing about it, oh. it makes it so that the, the shoulder can do so many incredibly different things because it's not locked into a joint like a knee. A knee can only go just like this. All it can do is one plane of motion. This is very movable, very flexible. That's why we can do so many different things with our arm and with our hand. So let's talk about what everybody usually thinks of that they, they usually have when they hurt their shoulder. It's called a rotator cuff tear or a sprain strain of the rotator cuff. Um, strain actually refers to a muscle. Sprain actually refers to a ligament. So the a strain, sprain strain means that it no one's really completely differentiated which it is, a strain or a sprain, or it could be both, like in an ankle, sprain, strain, usually the ligaments are overstretched, which would be the sprain, and the muscles are overstretched, would be the strain. Uh -huh. So, Someone's coming for you, G. Uh-oh. They finally found you. Yeah. Right. Uh, sometimes you shouldn't order hokey and mahi-mahi, and I'm it's not sure if California. that's a new... Is that a new Laguna Beach ordinance that's been passed? That Potentially. Now you can't have two fishes in a fishbowl? Yeah. Can't sell out too much mercury? No, nah, maybe just we need a little bit more of our personal freedom to remote. Uh, yeah. Like no frisbees. No frisbees. No. No can't smash ball. Me. No smash ball. Mm -mm. No, no, no uh -uh. smash ball. Don't want to do that. No, we love our city. It's just sometimes it seems like it gets a little overly controlling. Anyhow, let's get off of that. Can't fish in Laguna. Oh. Nick, Nick uh, Hernandez had wrote a song about that. But anyhow, I think that moratorium is coming up, and we'll soon be able to fish again, so that you guys can come over to our house and have fresh fish caught right here. It's just the commercial fishing, I think. Am I getting off point? No. Okay. Not at all. all right. Not one bit. All right. So, so rotator cuff. <laughs> what is a rotator cuff group? Well, it's four muscles. And the way we learn them in medical, chiropractic school, medical school, nursing school, whatever, they're called the sits muscles. Sits because it's easy to remember. Supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and the subscapularis, sits muscles. And so as a well-trained professional, you can actually determine exactly which muscle's been involved and if there is a rotator cuff tear or not. The rotator cuff's job is to hold the head of the humerus up into the glenoid fossa, the joint, so that it doesn't get excessive movement. Now you see this, this model I've had for a while, I, I don't want to get rid of it because I got it when I was in, in uh, chiropractic school a long time ago, over 30 years ago. So he has a rotator cuff tear right there. And so what the job of this is, is to keep it up in the joint capsule so you don't get excessive movement. Excessive movement can tear what's called the labrum. The labrum, see that little black line I drew that in there? The labrum is like a, a taut rubber band, like a suction cup that is, extends out past the bone to make this not be able to move too much. Sometimes you can actually tear the labrum, and that labrum, when that happens, commonly that can require surgery. Sometimes if we rehab the rotator cuff enough, even with a small labral tear, we can rehab a shoulder back to where there's no pain and there's full function. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you've got to go under the knife and get surgery. That's just the way it is. Fish and chips right here for oh, look at that bad boy. No and way. I have the balls coming out. Just You're kidding me. Guys. No, you're, you're joking. Kidding. You're Stop joking. It. Nice. You're kidding. That's See, one of the he's, most... he's not gluten-free, so he can do this. Woo! He <laughs> doesn't always choose to help. Have you ever seen a fish and chip like that? That's Check that pretty... out.
glorious. That's that's next level. Wow. I've glorious. even been, I've been to Scotland a couple of times. It doesn't look like that, and they're like the connoisseurs of frying things. Wow. Huh. Wow. Let's have a chip. You're jealous, mate. You're jealous. <laughs> Oh, that is some crunchy Ooh. glory right there. Wow. Don't eat, Slap you shouldn't fish, eat this every killing day. It. Yeah, you maybe shouldn't eat it every day, but you know, every once in a while. Good He's experimenting stuff. with fried food today. I guess so. All right, so the labrum, torn labrum, commonly can require surgery. The rotator cuff depends on how bad the tear is, if, you, if it needs surgery. Usually we can rehab these. We use a lot of different therapies to balance the tone of the muscles, strengthen them, get it so that the shoulders is uh, functioning well and stable. The other thing is the position of these bones. Sometimes a trauma can offset the way the clavicle joins into the sternum, and that can affect the way this this sits as well. The most common thing I find with with shoulder problems and it's like a hidden forgotten muscle it's called the subclavius it's underneath here and it helps to stabilize the clavicle so the clavicle doesn't move all around when your shoulder moves but it's like a forgotten hidden muscle and a lot of times I find that muscle when I do a, a muscle test evaluation kinesiologically it hurts when they try to test that muscle or it's weak and I've got to basically manipulate and turn that muscle back on by working on what are called the Golgi tendon organs and the spindle cells. It's an applied kinesiology technique to stimulate the body guys, to be strong. Beautiful. The hokey bowl. Wow. Thank and you. the hokey and mahi bowl. Oh my wow. Goodness, look beautiful. At beautiful. That's amazing, bro. Thank That's you. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Glorious. Okay. Wow. Nice. That's a fantastic looking meal. Yeah. Really beautiful. I'm kind of back on that over my crazy fry. So, <laughs> we can share. the other thing is the other big muscles. Now, this is another common problem. Where'd my, there it is. Biceps tendon, really common problem with the shoulder. People come in and they say, I've got pain right there. What happens a lot of times is this bicep tendon, you can get biceps tendon tendonitis. That's what happened to me. And then the, the tendon can slip out of the groove a little bit and start to get inflamed usually because it's not tracking correctly so that can be evaluated as well there's probably nothing that brings me more joy than fixing a shoulder in terms of how it affects someone's lifestyle and there's probably no joint that I probably am better at helping to fix in a shoulder wow. because they're so unique I mean I'm good with knees too but I really love fixing shoulders because I've had them myself. You know, I've had to, you know, I, I see the value of fixing the shoulder. And, you know, I've done a lot of work on the shoulder. One of the things that I did recently, about four months ago, is I got um, a PRP injection, which is platelet-rich plasma with stem cells, umbilical cord stem cells put in my shoulder. I had 10 million stem cells put into my shoulder. My shoulder is so much better after that. Hey, Hi, George. George. Hi, man. Hey. Good to see you. What you eat, laddie? <laughs> Look, he went for fish and chips. Fish oh, and chips. lovely. This is my amazing. son, Raya. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Hi, how are you? Oh, good looking guy. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you end up selling your machine? You I did, yeah. Good, nice good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we had a friend nice in Texas. What did you get the fish like bowl you? with um, yeah. hokey? And they were business. Nice I've been mm -hmm. looking for one of them. A I beaver. Said, oh, yeah, you sold it. Good, look good. I like it. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you guys. How's that? Dolly, or is she doing good? Oh, she's great. Thank you. All right. So, we were talking about biceps tendonitis and, um, and fixing, fixing all these different imbalances. One of the other things that's really common is that a lot of people um, have what's called a loss of the normal curve in their neck or a lordosis. Even Mayo Clinic in, in the year 2000 said, if a person has anterior head translation, if they've lost that curve of their neck, it's only a matter of time before they're going to get arthritis, pinched nerves, disc herniations, muscle spasms. Wow. Well, a pinched nerve in the neck basically is like a dimmer switch. And the electricity that makes it's all these it. muscles work is the electricity that comes from your brain through your 
the hole in your in your bottom of your head. Yes, we do have a hole in our head. It's called the foramen magnum. The spinal cord comes down through there, and then it exits out of the spine and comes into the shoulder. Well, commonly, if there's a misalignment or a, or a lack of the normal curve and posture of the neck, that starts to turn down the electricity flow from the body to the muscle. And now the muscles are underpowered, and they can um, the muscles can get injured more easily if they don't have the amount of electricity they need to function. Oh yeah. So we have a question. Yeah. From a very dear viewer, it's our very own Will Brown. Will. Oh, yeah, Will Brown. Yes. So, no way. Cousin amazing. Will. Cousin Will. So he Thank is, you, bro. We're so glad you've joined us. And he is asking. He says, while doing shoulder press, my shoulders can become very painful internally for short durations after a set. Could my rotator be swelling too much? It can. And I'm going to show you one of the most valuable things I ever learned in trying to keep your rotator cuff from getting strained. It's a warm-up that you do. This guy named Peter Goscue, I took a seminar with him. And he showed me this shoulder warm-up that warms up your rotator cuff. And before I do any weightlifting or throwing a football or playing volleyball, I always go through this routine. And it's pretty it's pretty great. It's pretty helpful. It helped me to rehab from that last ridiculous um, injury that I gave myself by listening to what my son asked me to do. Do a back flip, Dad. <laughs> but he's helped me to become a better doctor through this. So thank you, son. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Anytime. All right, Will, let me show you the basics. Now, the hand position is like this. You want to have a straight arm, straight wrist, bend the knuckles at the end, and a thumb goes forward like this. Both arms are going to come out to the side. The fact is, let's go over here, and I'll show you the whole routine. And this, if you have a shoulder problem, this is good for anyone to do. The whole thing is, is you don't want to have, let's see, come over here, Mom. I'm showing you whole. All right. So, the idea is you want your arms straight, and you start, if your thumbs are forward, you do forward motion arm circles. If you have any pain there, you have to bring it down to where there's no pain when you do the arm circles. So if you have to do it all the way here because it hurts, do it all the way there, okay? If it hurts, try to do smaller circles. But the idea is you want to get it all the way up to here to eventually to do a hundred of these without stopping. So maybe for, to start, maybe you do 20, 20, 20, and then 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, and keep on going up. But this is one of the best ways to heal a shoulder problem. So you're gonna do a hundred of these eventually. And then you go to, thumbs go backwards now, a hundred of these with backward circles. Remember, if you have any pain, move down lower to where there's no pain at all. And then the next one is you take your thumbs, you put them on your temples here. And then remember, this is one unit. So all you do is you roll your knuckles in until your elbow comes across like this. And these are called elbow curls. Okay. The idea behind this, and you can actually get. I've taken. Show the side view. Yeah. So you're here. So you're here. And here. And then here. Now, if you want to get creative with it, you can you can add in a little bit of a horse stance, like in, in qigong or martial arts. The horse stance, you get down here. You're going to start work, engaging your your quads, your hamstrings, your glute, your core. Um, you can also do them, and these are advanced things. You can do it on one foot if you want to, just to engage more. You can bring a knee up higher and do it. You can even kneel on a, a PT ball. If you get really good at this stuff, you can kneel on a PT ball and engage your core while you're doing your shoulder routine. So that is the best thing I ever got shown for helping to rehab my shoulder, it really turned it around. And every time I've tweaked my shoulder, I've looked back and I realized, you know what? I got started on my workout too soon. I didn't do that warm up, and therefore I paid the price and now I'm tweaked again. Now I need more care to, to get the thing calmed down. 
So, um, let's talk real quick just how many, about how many people would you say you've um, like shown that exercise to? Well, I had the in, entire water polo team one year at Laguna Beach High School. I've shown that to two gold medal winner winning um, volleyball players. Um, I've shown it to the entire volleyball program at Laguna Beach High School. I, I remember mean, being like maybe 10, 11 years old and we would play basketball early at middle school, or no, elementary school. Every time he would come and play with us at like six in the morning, kids would show up all early. We'd always do that routine. And he's like young, you know, like third, fourth, fifth graders. Just like, what are we doing? But I rem always remember that because I still do it before I work out. And you just like build that habit and you get your shoulders nice and strong. Mm -hmm. Such a good warm up. Will yeah. says thank you for the new warm up. Good. You'll, it'll really help you. Um, so my suggestion, the best people that can fix shoulders that I found, I mean, you can do regular physical therapy on them and use an ultrasound or a muscle stem and things like that. I like to get much more intricate than generalized therapy. That's why I like to find an applied kinesiologist, a certified applied kinesiologist. You can go to the website, I-C-A-K-U-S-A, -A and find an applied kinesiologist. They're under high demand because they're so good with athletics and sports injuries. Um, number two, for fixing your posture, you can go to the website called idealspine.com and find a chiropractic biophysics um, chiropractic doctor who's been trained in fixing posture. And um, we use techniques called Graston. Graston goes after scar tissue patterns because sometimes there's scar tissue patterns. Like right now I'm working with Raya. He got an injury and separated his AC joint. And now, and he's also got a lot of, this is the muscle right here. Uh, Major. He's got a lot of scar tissue in there, so we're doing Graston technique, which is take oil and some stainless steel instruments and go back and forth and break up that scar tissue. We also, um, Dirk Ringstead at our office is uh, certified in ART, active release technique. That's really, really helpful. Um, we also have different um, physical therapies, the pulsed electromagnetic frequency machine, also the pressure wave machine. There's a lot of therapies that can really help aid the, the healing time and, and fix these things a lot quicker. Oh yeah. It's um, it's great when you see results start to happen, you know, quickly instead of having them take so long. And that's why sometimes generalized therapies of, okay, you know, let's do this and that and general stuff, I, I found sometimes people get pretty frustrated with the process. So. And I you think do we covered it. the applied kinesiology. Yeah, I do the helps. applied kinesiology. I'm a certified um, applied kinesiologist. I'm a certified chiropractic biophysics, um, you know, ideal spine doctor, fixing posture. Um, and yeah, I mean, if you, if you know someone that has a shoulder problem, I would love to take a look and see what's going on. Why is it it isn't healing? You know, the body's designed to heal. You cut yourself, a scab it bleeds, a scab forms. And then after a few days, it falls off. The body's supposed to heal these things. Anytime something isn't healing, it means there's something underlying, some stress that's keeping the body from doing what it's supposed to do. Interfering with it. Interfering with the normal process. And that's what you love to uncover. I do. Those issues. Mm -hmm. Find out the root cause of these things and why they're not healing. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit about the new pressure wave machine that we have? Because it's been pretty amazing. I've been doing it. I've been doing it like, I've been doing it like six times on my, on my um, shoulder. I think it's been amazing, incredible. It's called the Wave Machine, and uh, Dirk's really good at it. All the physical therapists down there are really good at it, physiotherapists. Um, the Kairos. The Kairos. Yeah, all the doctors use it. Um, we have so many different things that we can utilize to bring about healing, and this is like a new one we've had for about a month. It came from Dr. Marcella. Uh, highly recommend it. Who's Dr. Marcella? Dr. Marcella is our um, medical director. She's been there for two years now with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's been amazing. She helps us out with so many different things, and um, that was one of the things she recommended. She really invested highly. in the machine and, and is letting us offer to our patients at our office, and it really helps. It basically puts fast pressure into an area to help break up scar tissue and inflammation 
even bone spurs and arthritis, it can really, really help. It stimulates the circulation and blood mm -hmm. flow to get the cells excited to heal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it's been so good for me. And every person I, that we have had use it so mm -hmm. far has been kind of blown away by the results that they're seeing. Mm -hmm. Like if you couple it with everything else that we do and you add that in with it, it just catalyzes the healing faster. So it does. Yeah, that thing's great too. Um, I mean, we have so many different resources that really help almost any type of issue like that. So yeah, we thank you guys for stopping by. Are we good? Are any more questions or anything like that? Well, we still have our holiday specials going on, which is pretty exciting. Oh, won't you film her? Christmas is coming up. Tell us about it, Mo. Okay. Holiday specials. So it's almost Christmas. You might be in that place. I mean, you might have finished your shopping, but you might not have. You, you might still be looking for gifts last minute. You might also be sort of fighting something off or getting ready for the new year, wanting to jump in with a fresh start on your health and um, just really getting a head start for the year. So we have some really awesome specials that we're running right now that can help you do that. We're doing an IV package. So we're doing three IVs for 10% off six IVs for 20% off and a package of 10 IVs for 30% off. So you can buy a package of IVs and gift some as um, gifts to people, or you can do the whole package for yourself, um, whatever you like. And you can basically pick and choose which of our IVs that you want to put into that package. So we have like a general health IV, we have an immune IV, detox IV, performance IV, um, chronic stress. release, adrenal stress and stress relief. Lots of really good stuff. We also can cater IVs specifically to you and your needs. If you get a NutriVal test, it'll tell you which nutrients you're deficient in. And then we can specifically cater the IV to the nutrients your body needs. So that's the IV package. We're also doing a detox foot bath special. One of those is a buy one, get one free for our detox foot bath. That's an intro special. So if you've never done the foot bath, you can do that one. We also have 10 foot baths for the price of seven. So doing those in a series is really good. And you know, we all of us need to be detoxifying because we live in a world where there's so many toxins that we're being exposed to. And in order to maintain just our health, we have to be detoxified. So that's a really good way to do it. Um, and then we're also doing a special for um, people, any of you that have been our patients and you're looking to come in, you maybe have a new injury, you wanna get some care. We're doing a package of eight espresso visits, which are quicker visits, they're more affordable, they're a little bit um, faster for you to get in and out so you can get on with your day. And we do a re-exam, x-rays, and eight espresso visits in a package um, for a really great price, and that's really awesome. So let us know if you're interested in that. Um, and we're also doing a really cool special on for new patients. So if you want to come in and get a full body exam, look at where you are in your health, any symptoms that are going on and how you can get where you want to go we are doing that actually for $97 which is really amazing so if you want to jump in yeah you see the nurse practitioner you see the Cairo you get x-rays if needed you pretty much do a whole body exam to determine what's going on what's causing your symptoms and how you can get where you want to be so there's some really good holiday specials for you that's Merry Christmas from Health and Balance to you and um, let us know if you're interested and have an amazing Christmas. We hope you rest, we hope you celebrate, we hope you just enjoy yourself. So, you're amazing. Thank you for joining us today. See you soon. <laughs> <laughs>